Intense with Maya. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Sex Intense with Maya. Who miss me? Who miss me? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I missed all of you. Kuchi, kuchi. A hymen is a thin membrane that covers the opening in the vagina and every girl child that is born has a hymen but you see hymen is not a reliable determinant of virginity because of the nature of the hymen some girls their hymen wear off when they engage in one or two activities like dancing stretching um, splitting and then the hymen wears off you get but then the, the determinant the main determinant of if you're a virgin or not is if you've had penetrative sex before that's where it should be so the hymen is not really reliable and all of that but then just like I said last week I'm talking about the four types of hymen today and this is it there are various types of hymen but for the cause of this I'll just be talking about four of them I will dissect the different types of hymen one by one so you get to understand it now that we've established the types that there are and afterwards I will tell you what you need to do if you have any of those types of hymen I was stuffing the net one time and I came across a post of a girl that was complaining that she has sex with her boyfriend but after she has sex with him she, if she wants to have sex again they have to go through the same process of disfigurating her Auntie, how? Ah, it got me confused. Like, are you trying to tell us that you're a virgin? Then you're a virgin again and again and again. Ah, ah, ah. Where? How? Where does that happen? But then I got to discover that it is because of the kind of hymen that she has. I will get back to my story and I will tell you what actually happened with her. Let me start by telling you about the microperforate hymen. The microperforate hymen leaves a tiny opening, just like you saw in the picture. It leaves a tiny opening in the vagina. A tiny opening. So blood can actually flow through during a girl's menstruation if she has a microperforate hymen. But it will be difficult for her to insert a tampon or to remove it once it is full. It will be difficult for her and painful. And also sexual intercourse will be difficult for her. So she needs to get it treated if she has a microperforate hymen. Then moving to the cribriform hymen. The cribriform hymen, you see multiple tiny openings in the vagina. So it's also difficult to insert a tampon or remove it if you should have a cribriform hymen. And it's also going to be difficult to have sexual intercourse. Moving on to the septate hymen, you also see similar occurrences. It's just that this time around, there's a thick tissue in between the vaginal opening. But then there's a demarcating tissue in between your opening. So it makes it difficult for you to also insert a tampon or to remove it once it's full and difficult for sexual intercourse to happen. So this is the similarity amongst all four types of hymen. I saved one, right? You notice the one that I've not explained is the the imperfect hymen is when there is total closure, total closure, no tiny opening at all in the vagina. The imperfect hymen it prevents you from having sexual intercourse and it also prevents you from having your menstrual flow. With total coverage, when you get to the age of puberty and you're menstruating you would not even know you just feel abdominal pains here because the the period flows but then it's hanging it can't flow out of your body you get so usually girl child um discover that they have an imperfect hymen during the puberty age some are discovered at birth but most of them are discovered during the puberty age when you're supposed to have your menstrual flow and it's not coming, you're having pains, you're having urinary issues and all of that. So that's when they spot it out and they take you for treatment. So through this hymen tunnel, it is possible to remove the excess vaginal tissue and that is the right process of treating any type of this hymen. It's the right process. So you have the usual opening. Finally, back to the story, yeah? So, the girl I was talking about, I told you she said she has sex with her boyfriend and then she comes again and she discovers that it's as if she's a virgin again because they go through the same process and all of that. 
So the reason that happened was as a result of the type of hymen she had. She has too much hymen tissue that needs surgical operation and attention, but it can be treated. Mm. Well, this wraps up this week's episode of Sex and Times with Maya. Right now, all I want to do is the last number taking care of So until next week, bye. Bye. So many girls that pass through, none of the girls.